Yeah. 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 Yo, 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 it's your boy, Fresh the General. Let me stop. Um, you feel me? It's your boy, John Cintron and shit like that. Um, we got a very special guest, you feel me? A very special client of mine and shit like that. Fresh the General and shit like that. I'm gonna let him introduce himself, let him get, for me, acquainted with Sha. I already know him. Yeah, it's Mr. Fresh the General, man. It's the house of life himself. Just, she wanna shake it all fresh. I've been doing that though. Hound of Life. Um, how did you how did you come up with that name? Or how did that whole thing come about? Big Hound of Life, she can do that on B. Like, <laughs> yeah, how did you come up with that? Feel me? Uh, uh, shout out to bros, man. Mm -hmm. For me, let's start there. <laughs> they give you that name? Shout out, nah, shout, shout out to bros, man. They can start the uh, how the shit. We we was hound there. It was a summer. Feel me? And uh, we was we was kicking it with a lot of bitches. You heard? So mm. um, it was hound this season. You heard? No, we not talking about no blood shit. We talk about that. How that's funny that you say that too. Um, you bring that up or whatever, because that's what most people would think and shit like that. But yeah, that hound and shit, you feel me? Obviously, you feel me, dogs and shit like that. So, like, when y'all, for me, I think about it, dogs being dogs and shit. So, yeah, bro. I didn't catch it until you feel me, like, literally, we shot the video and shit like that. And I was listening to the song. I'm like, oh, okay. That's, that's swag. That's swag. That's swag. But yeah, um, um so, first to the general, um, I'm going to start off. Yeah, I'm gonna let the people know, yo, bro. We was recording, bro. We wasn't recording no audio, but we're gonna start over from we're gonna get this interview for me official. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna say this too. A lot of the questions that I'm about to ask, like these are questions that I don't even know. You know what I mean? Like I'm just, you feel me? I'm about to learn this shit too. So for me, about to inform us, all of us. But um, so Freshy the general. How did you come up with the name? Let's, uh, let's start with Freshy first, yeah. Freshy, I got that. I, I got that from one of the um, show brothers for mm -hmm. me. Uh, one of the brothers from Howard. With Ben Bean on the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, I, I was fucking with a nigga about, uh, I fucked with his body since I was a little younger. I go fuck. For me, I was jacking and shit. And for me, I was just one of those, for me. Yeah. For me, fresh, fresh little nigga. So I'm like, I just started calling myself that game. That's all I that was. For me, I, I let niggas know that though. But yeah, I got, I got fresh from somebody else. Okay. That's what's what up though. How does he feel about that? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I know, I know exactly who you talk about. Um, yeah. yeah how does he, how do he feel about that? My son, fresh you going okay? So my son, my son was booked. My son was booked. My free bro, my son booked right now, okay? So, but he was booked with um, when I had for me, he was booked there all the time. I took his name and shit. Mm -hmm. But for me, he from the whole other side. For me, I, I'm sure from from Garvey. For me, sure. But he, I, he got in tune. He, I got in tune and shit. He ain't know that I, I had got my name from him and shit, but. It was going about, oh, yeah, it's another freshie from you, like, right? shit, for me, so you heard about me. But then when you came back, when you came home and shit, mm -hmm. you know me, I'm a real nigga, bro. For me, I don't give a fuck what position a nigga ain't none of that. For me, I'm gonna keep it a sight. Seeing he came to the, he came to the hood, mm -hmm. so worry, bro, so worry. Yeah, you don't even know, for me, I, I got my name for you, gang, oh, bro. You give credit what credit is due. Oh, bro, mm -hmm. that's just what I do. But yeah, I told him. For me, he, he respect that hundred percent more. He ain't even really know me for me because he older for me. Yeah. He was booked. So, but me and him had locked in after that game. So that's bro, free bro. So what about the that. general part? <laughs> it was just a lifestyle for me, like. Mmm. I'ma snap for that. Uh huh. That shit was just a lifestyle game. Okay? So like, I go fight. And my other game, we got a lot of state them niggas though. You heard? Mm -hmm. So, for me to say the general is for me. But it was just something about it, like, I had to take on that name, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's about, but it's not, cops, I go for that, it's crazy. It's all another story. Cops are thinking like, that shit different. Shit not that different, yeah. Yeah, it's a general, it's just, for me, let me tell you what it really stands for. Mm -hmm. I lead the way I don't follow, gang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't follow. So what if somebody else was to take that, like, the, the general part? Like, you wouldn't feel no way? Like, someone that's, like, completely, like... Uh, I, 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 I just see niggas... I just seen niggas put the general at the end of their name. Really? Bro. Yeah, hell yeah. I be seeing mad little Instagram people with that name. That's I just see. He started a wave. That's, that's for me. Yeah. I, 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 be, I be like, yeah, they most likely got it for me. But for me, I don't know. I don't really be feeling the way they could feel like they did general with that shit. Mm. For me. Mm -hmm. So fuck it. It is what it is. Yeah. All right. So um, you started making music and shit like that at what age? Uh, I started. Uh, what you mean? All right. Like, what did you started making music and shit? Like, like what, how did that how did that whole thing start for you? Yeah, like I go for I was like, well, like nah, tell you guys, I, I, my old mother's side of family, they they big on the rapping and shit. Mm -hmm. For me, 
we had female rappers all that. So um, when I used to go over there every week and shit, we used to go to over there in the weekends with my cousins and shit. And um, some of them would be like, they, they'd be going to the studio and shit, my female, my female cousin. And she'd be like, oh, she had deck friends and shit, her, uh, her friends. They'd be like, yeah, um, if y'all write something, yeah, y'all come to the studio with us. For real? Mm-hmm. And um, me and my cousin, my son, Pri, from me to say, hey, just me, that's my, that's my son. For me, that's my cousin. He he was nice, gangster. I thought I thought he was gonna be the rapper, gangster. But every time he would write from me, he used to grab a piece of paper and pen, straight go to the table, straight start writing, gangster. Do you still write now? Who, oh, pretty? No, do you? Do you do you write your music now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, how yeah, how yeah. I write my shit, gang. Cause um, I been like that all my life. So for me, I don't really. I ain't go for. I done made some um swaggy shit while when I freestyle. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I could get more. I could more get personal. more. Yeah, like I can get a little personal when I'm writing, like for me, because yeah. got a little time to think of what I'm saying. Type shit. Absolutely. So, okay, so they started making music and <laughs> like that. They was like, yo, if you write, you come to the studio. Do you remember anything that you used to say? Like, was it like, or was it when, just. When we first started rapping, mm-hmm. we was, we, we was um, going off like, uh, like real shit, like fucking um, mob deep beats and all shit like that. Oh, when shit. We writing, we writing a little shit like that. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. Uh, by the time, like, with big metal shit for each other, we writing no old shit, bro. Old shit, bro. Mm. For me, old school beats. Who's Try your favorite rapper? That shit. Um, it don't have to be like just like right now, like you know. <laughs> but it just who's your all favorite all time rapper? Yeah, no, I feel I go for Lego inspired music, young pappy. I ain't go for it. Mm. That's gonna be a nigga I fuck around about Todd. But I'm a fucking. I ain't gonna say to our pap. But I'm fucking. Oh, old and wrinkly. I nah, see, see, bubble, I gotta understand, bro. Like, you know, when you speak positivity, positivity happens for you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm big on that. How did you how did you start learning how to like be optimistic and shit like that about like certain things? Cause I noticed that you feel me, even when we like you feel me outside of you know working shit like that, when we talk, you feel me, you're very optimistic. You know, how did you how did you learn to start doing that? Because that's not something that comes easy. I don't know. It was something, it was something with myself, like, mm-hmm. cause I got I got a way, like, of uh, fucking, I don't, when my, my temper mm-hmm. overseas be like type shit, I stop giving a fuck about everything type shit. So I will, I fuck around, shut down, all that. Like, I done been through situations, real life situations with my moms and shit from when I'm younger, from me. And like, I just like, I couldn't express how I feel like I can't. But so I get mad mm-hmm. and I just shut down, gay. Okay? I wouldn't even talk. I would talk about it'd be me, my mother, and let's just say a teacher or some shit. Mm-hmm. Gangsta. Okay, so. Once I'm not here with something I don't like to learn, I straight shut down, gay. Okay? And it, look, it make me it make me look fucking crazy. They probably look, they probably think like, what the fuck? Fuck me. <laughs> they probably like, nah, this nigga really got a problem. Gangsta, bro. But it's crazy. It's mm-hmm. that's not even it. It's just. I don't know. I'm a tourist. Let's start that off. Do you feel like what you don't you don't you don't know how to express yourself when you're mad, or you just don't know how to express yourself properly? I don't want to. Mm. Why is that? Like why don't why don't like you know what I mean when you mad or whatever you know like I feel like I feel like when you in a problem game when you in a problem it's only you in that problem. So I'm not big old telling nobody my problems. Like even my mom just shit, my mom was they, they don't like that shit. My mom and my pop, they don't like that shit. I don't talk. Who do you get that from? I don't talk. And it's crazy, gang. They don't even know who the fuck I get that from. Mm, no, no, not no cousins, no family members or nothing. They don't even know where I get that from. My mom's gonna be like, what the fuck? But I think I get it from my own. I don't know, bro. I I don't know. I'm different from some of the feeling for me, but mm. I don't know, gang. Can't really explain it. But I don't know where the fuck I get that shit from. Some people used to be like that. You ever had therapy? You ever went to therapy? I don't know. I never went to therapy. Uh, feel me? I done been in like, uh, I done been through probation a little shit like that. So mm-hmm. that's the most like closest shit I've been through, feel me? So you never really, I had a chance to ever speak about your problems. Cause I mean, obviously you're gonna speak about it to the bros, you feel me? You're gonna tell you, you feel me? Bitches, you're gonna be like, yo bro, for me, this is what it is. Or you're not that type of person. Um. That's just like, do I have to really break, break, 
but it gets me like I go for like I'll I'll speak to the bros. I'll speak to the bros. Mm-hmm. For me, um, a bitch that that's every once in a while. That ain't gonna really be. I just gotta be a bitch that I'm really fucking with. Where and so she, wait, you got a girlfriend? Nah, I don't got a girlfriend. What? I no girlfriend. girlfriend. I don't got a girlfriend. For me, it's it's complicated right now. Mm-hmm. For me. Oh, you dealing with somebody? That's how true it is. It, it's complicated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy. All right, so um, wait, wait, wait. so wait. So you you're not trying to date right now. You're just trying to focus on you, right? Oh, uh, I, I I just got out of a relationship last long ago. Probably I'll probably say almost a year ago now. You feel me? The lady, the the lady, young lady. Mm-hmm. The, <laughs> you know what's mad funny? I really try to find out what I because the lady what the was twenty seven, gang. Oh shit! So I don't know if I should call her a young lady. You know what I'm saying, gang? I mean, she a young lady. I, she a young lady. I, no, no, no. Matter of fact. What do we call her? Um, we call her a young cougar. That's what we call her. I don't, I, I, want, I don't want to refer her to a cougar because I, I, mm-hmm. I liked her. Bro, I, mean, I liked her, gang. Yeah, like, I thought, I th- we had that with a cougar before. When I was 19, I was doing some shorty. She was 29, bro. bro like, when you think of a cougar, gang, it's like... Well, older, older, older? It's like they right. fishing for like... So she's still young then. She's still for me. What y'all think? Matter of fact, how about everybody for me that's yeah, watching this? Comment down below. What's what the, the what, 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 what For me, yeah. Because what, what, what do you call her? So she was 27, so when you met her, what? No, I you? was um yeah when I was there her I was eighteen. When oh, I was there her I was eighteen. My mother was like, bro, my mother was not nah, jacking that for his own bro. I was there, that was shit. It's like now nah, I'm coming to the crib. She had the real shit. She taking me to the crib, go get clothes, go to her crib, shit like that. My mother like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, how'd you meet her? Um, uh, through a friend. Okay, through, through a friend, through a female friend. Okay, so but the female friend was fucking with one of my bros too. For me, but that was her niece. Mm-hmm. The girl, the one, the girl I wanted to be my girlfriend was my friend, Art. Mm. Gangster. So the Art was feeling a nigga vibe. So wait, wait, this is like what? This is a, a serious, serious relationship you was having? Yeah, yeah, we had wanted to get into some serious shit on, bro. And I saw fuck around, you go for it. That was something I wasn't really used to. You feel me? You know what's the good thing about being with an older female? Um, I gotta say this too. All right, so um, older, fe- well, just older, like, you know what I mean? Older in age and shit like that. They have experience, you know what I mean? That's like, I feel like it's so like different from like dealing with a younger female. Cause I mean, nigga, if we all that way for me, a female that's a couple of years younger than us or whatever, but like dealing with a female that's older than you, she got like a different mind state from you, you know? That's right for me. But um, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, um, she, she, she told me a few things. That's what's up. How, how was she with your music? Like, she fucked with your music? Yeah, but I fake uh I fake felt like I I I branched off too much for the music. Like I was too uh distant. Yeah, occupied with different shit other than music while I was in a relationship. So that was also one thing that was a downfall mm-hmm. towards the relationship. So that's why I, uh, that was part of it why I had to break out too. For me. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, bro, I'm not gonna lie, breakups are hard. You feel me? We all go through breakups and shit like that, but um she got deeper than that, but we ain't even going to watch. She knows go low, low. She watches, she, she go low, go low. Oh, you feel me? She watches it. If you make sure you like the video, comment, you feel me? All that crazy shit. Like, matter of fact, subscribe too. But um, moving forward, so um, you want to have kids? How you yeah, like, gang? Little, you feel me? Yeah. How yeah, gang? A few of my brothers got uh, kids already. We heard a uh, free Christmas leave. My son got two twin daughters. Oh, uh, I just, I just, that's crazy. I just see them right before I looked up with y'all. I gave them, they was going to Chuck E. Cheese again with uh, all the kids. And, um, Freshie for the kids, right? Freshie for the kids? Freshie for the kids. Okay, that's what's up. Freshie for the kids. And, um, my, my other man just had a little son. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Other man just had a little son. I'm like, damn, bro, y'all having them, bro, gangster. I'm like, damn, bro, like, I don't want my kid to be too young. I, uh, why y'all kids already for me? Mm-hmm. I don't know, really think about it. Like, so you think about time you have a kid? Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like I, I feel like I, I want to have a kid, but I'm not. I'm not really very flashy. I ain't gonna do no shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. That shit is hard or whatever. But you I know, sometimes I'm gonna kid myself, okay, respectfully. Nah, we gonna look at that hard. You know, I definitely, I definitely do agree with that. But um, wait, wait. So basically, you're what you're trying to say is that like you, you have some more life to live before you have your kid. Oh uh, yeah. But sometimes I have a lot having a kid. To do. Yeah, we said you got shit to do. Yeah, I got a like lot what? Of shit talk, to talk, do. Let's talk about that. Yeah. First of all, you you fucking have a kid. You, you, your paper better be straight. Facts. You feel Facts. me? Or you, you better have a fucking plan. I know. I know bitches that just they see their friends get pregnant and shit. Oh, yeah. I'm be the next <laughs> one. 
Bitches don't got shit go for they self none. So that's really? another thing. I don't understand. That's I'm not gonna lie, that's a whole nother topic, but just to briefly touch on that, I feel like as a female, you know, they have the final decision. You know what I mean? Like mm. in what's gonna happen and whatnot. But I don't understand what is it like with females thinking that like shit is gonna be different or whatever. But um I feel like you know what it is? They, they how they're raised. You know what I mean? That's the importance of you for me. Um, um, children's uh, if you mean having their parents in life and whatnot, but um, right about forward, that. um, so boom, so basically, last thing we talked about with music and shit like that, you saying, um, started making music and shit like that with your cousins, you know what I mean? They was going to the studio. When did you drop your first song? All right, so yeah, um, like publicly, like yeah, we had uh, oh, uh, we had jumped there for me. We uh, this is like what I say, yeah, this is all uh, fucking seventh grade. It's like seventh grade. middle school. This was, yeah, this was either sixth or seventh grade. Sheesh. Oh, me and my cousin Pri, and so we had all uh, his friends. Mm -hmm. They had clapped a little studio session, gangsta, bro. And we had fuck around at home. But they vibed out, we heard, made a song. And we was all, we was, we was all big with a little uh, punch and shit like that, and shit. So we, me and myself, Pri, I made a little, one of them tracks, like a little trap and shit, type shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we dropped this shit soon as we left the studio, it was mad late. Left the shit like 11, 12. Still dropped the shit on SoundCloud. You know what I mean? You guys literally dropped it the same day as soon as they left the studio? Oh, yeah. Damn, Man, that's crazy. Fuck. So, wait, y'all like, yeah, wasn't nervous? Y'all wasn't nervous or nothing like that? Like, like, damn, bro, I'm about to drop a song. I don't know what niggas going to say. Like, Nah, nah, because I go for we always, we always been in love for me type shit. Like, for me, my son, Pre, he, he got a hate you wild for me. That's why I cut it. So, the bitches used to be always dick for me. <laughs> then, um... We uh we used to do the double tap and shit. Where so we double tapping that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, you know, so we you, used to be old Jersey boy. beats and shit. You feel me? Okay, so mm -hmm. I like them shit on bro. But yeah, for me we we went to there. We went to that stage. Then we went to the scamming stage, and and it was off. Oh, uh, then we went to the rapper stage. But the rapper was always there for me. Mm -hmm. We been rapping since young. But it was just we was just doing other shit. I love to shit. So what did you want to do? Like what what. When you was young and shit like that, what is it that you wanted to do when you got older before? I mean, I can't, obviously, you feel me, you're going to take rap serious and shit like that now because you feel me. But um, before that, like, what, what was it that you wanted to be? Um, Yo, uh, it was either, it was either I wanted to get into some um, some type of acting type shit. Fresh some, actor? Okay, okay, yeah, I okay. I wanted to play, I mm -hmm. definitely wanted to go to school for that shit. Games. I wanted to. I don't want to act in movies. I don't want to act in movies, oh bro. Um. Well, what type of what type of role he was gonna play? He was gonna be the comedian. He was gonna be the nah, serious I'm actor. Nah, I'm not the comedian. The one that always cries on camera. Like whatever, whatever um actor he was gonna be. Like I'm not movies. I'm not the comedian type. For me, I do get funny about always though, okay, sir. But sure. I'm not the comedian type. But um, I go for. I feel like I I play all types of shit. None of that mook shit. None of that action shit game. We are not doing none of that. You are uh. But he's um, not a sellout. He's not a sellout. That's why he he actually care about himself. For me, these niggas. I feel like you're that, that, doing gay shit. Yo, bro. But what it is? Okay, they they their point. They do it for money. You know what I mean? But you got to think about it. You know what I mean? Like, bro. Like, if you do that early in your career, that's what niggas gonna think of you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bro. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't see myself. You feel me doing no shit like that, bro? Yeah, what the fuck? It's bugged out. We not doing that. But I could play. I um, uh, I could play some um. It won't even gotta be no gay shit. shit. I don't gotta be no gangster shit. Well, like belly or some shit, you know what I mean? I, I could definitely play some gangster shit, but it don't gotta be no gay shit. Mm -hmm. For me? I don't know though. That's just how I was thinking about it. He's gonna then. be a superhero, you know? Anybody for me, Marvel, they watching for me, he's gonna be a superhero. <laughs> no, but um, that's crazy. So wait, um, how did that, how did that be in acting? Like, how did that come about? Like, that was just something that you just, you saw? Uh, I, was, like... I, was, I, I was in school for me. Mm -hmm. we, we was taking some type of classes. I don't know what it was, like trying with some dumb shit. Yeah. But we had to each play like roles and shit. But for me, I don't know. I was fake. I, I fake used to be like, I am a little shy, nigga, a little bit. For me. But when it's time to like step out of that for me, like I just do it like gangster. So once I, once I, once I learned myself and I peeped that I could do shit like that, then I'm like, all right. Then I fake was interested in like the shit. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that shit fake story. Like for me, it was, it was a main reason why I jacked that I can't remember right now. But Gay so I was that jacket. Gay so. Probably close to your heart and shit. Nah, yeah. Um, so you would do acting for like music videos and shit like that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I'll definitely do it, yeah, for sure, gangster. So. That's what's up, that's what's up. Like King Von Crazy story type of music video type shit. Uh yeah, that'd be cool. 